Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Prof Chuff, and we are back again with another tier zoo video. This is the three tier list. Let's check it out by tier zoo, of course. By tier zoo. Well, tier. Okay, I was, I was trying to make a name with the joke in trees, but it didn't work out because your abilities. Trees are one of the most meta-defining organisms in the game. When the devs first added them to the game back during the Carboniferous expansion pack, they were so overpowered that they increased the oxygen level to the highest it's ever been, inadvertently buffing the max HP of the arthropod faction. Since then, they've been an ever-present aspect of the game that defines how many of the top builds construct their various game strategies. For example, many of the top builds spec into claws that grant them mobility that bonuses in the arboreal biome, which is literally a biome that only exists because of how overpowered trees are. But are all trees equally overpowered? Obviously, the only way to answer that question would be with a tier list. So let's get. I'm gonna be honest, you, I don't know shit about trees. Besides, they do the whole font photosynthesis shit and give us oxygen. Important paper. Into it. Obviously, this can't be an exhaustive list, but nonetheless, it's what must be done. There aren't any F tier trees, so we're gonna start in D tier. D. The birch tree has some of the lowest defenses of any tree in the game. Of all the tree builds, this one has the thinnest bark, making it highly vulnerable to damage that other tree builds would easily ignore. For example, damage from deer players sharpening their antlers, or woodpeckers drilling for prey. Most tree builds don't even take damage from this, as their bark would completely nullify it. But the birch tree is uniquely vulnerable. On top of this, birch trees are actually more flammable than most trees, due oh. to their oily sap and paper-like bark. Now, all trees are weak to fire, but many of them at least have ways of mitigating this vulnerability, as we shall see with many of the higher ranking members on this list. Next on the list is the oak tree. The oak is one of the most powerful tree builds in the late game. Of these. It can grow higher and wider than most other tree builds, allowing it to crowd out its competition. It has thick bark, which protects it from weak thick. damage. Thick the oak boy. is also protected at least somewhat from parasites, because its wood and foliage contain tannic acid, a natural deterrent. This is all really solid, and in general, once an oak reaches the late game, it's one of the most powerful and durable tree builds. However, oaks have a really difficult early game, more difficult than most tree builds. The starting form of the oak build is the acorn, which is highly sought after by omnivorous players as they're a great source of XP. So despite oak trees being a great you know, build- How many can you shove in your mouth, you little whore? Overall. You little whore, look at you. Isn't that a little too much? Lately, yes. they've been Stick falling another one in there. as the number of small scavenger builds, like squirrels and woodpeckers, <laughs> have seen a surge in population recently. To combat this, happening outside some oak window. tree clans have started implementing a strategy where they'll drop zero acorns some years, starving out the local scavenger players, and then releasing <laughs> extra the following year, giving new oak mains a better chance to survive. <laughs> Get in fucked. Here we have the maple tree. The maple build is Mapo. sort of the jack of all trades of the tree faction. While it can't grow as large as some of the others, it doesn't get crowded out nearly as easily as birch trees do. Its bark isn't as impenetrable as builds like the oak, but it also certainly isn't weak. One of the reasons maple players can spawn in new locations so easily is that their seeds actually have the flight ability. While not quite as effective as the drifting ability of plants like the dandelion and milkweed, the maple can still travel long distances with its helicopter Samara seeds. <laughs> Nothing else about the maple is particularly broken though. And oftentimes, this playstyle eventually gets hey, overshadowed bro. by trees that grow bigger and stronger and choke out the maples. Perhaps if the maple didn't put so many points into aesthetics, they'd be top tier. In A tier, we have perhaps one of the most meta-defining tree builds in the entire game, the mangrove. The mangrove is the only tree build in the game that specs into salt resistance, allowing it to grow in shallow places along the coast of the ocean. This creates an entirely new in-game biome called the mangrove swamp. The mangrove swamp is unique among the game's biomes in that it creates an extremely healthy meta for arboreal builds because they no longer have to fear attacks from ground-based predators. Mangrove swamps are havens for new aquatic bird players as well as low tiers like the sloth, seeing as most builds that are prone to griefing them aren't fond of traversing a salty swamp. Salt resistance is an ability that often gets overlooked, but in the right situations it can turn a lesser known- Hey, I need that ability when I play my League of Legends games. Salt resistance that would be very useful. On mid tier into a dominant Unfortunately. High tier. The top tier tree is the conifer. The conifer build is a unique take on the tree build that makes some very conifer? interesting choices when it comes to their abilities. The most obvious is that they've opted oh, to spec into things. needles rather than leaves, offering a few advantages and disadvantages. The biggest advantage is that needles don't fall during winter. They're compact enough that they can survive frosts, so the conifer is free to harvest all the XP it wants from the sun, even during the winter when other trees can't. But in addition to that, 
needles also don't catch wind near as much, meaning high winds can't blow conifers over nearly as easily as they could a tree with broad leaves on it. Needles are also much tougher for insects to munch on, and also retain water much more effectively, meaning droughts or deep freezes don't dehydrate conifer plants. Oh, that sounds amazing. Their disadvantage? <laughs> conifers are extremely oh. weak to fire damage. Their waxy needles catch fire much easier than most trees. However, this is where the conifer's final ability comes into play. Their pine cones are fire resistant and spread seeds more often after being scorched by a flame. Because of this, conifers turn their main weakness into a strength. Due to this amazing slew of abilities, I have to give the ranking of S tier to the conifers. It's no wonder that the giant sequoia, the largest tree built in the game, is part of the conifer faction. However, as Jesus. OP as trees are, it's no secret that since the Anthropocene patch, forests have started to disappear, from mangrove swamps to rainforests. Trees are powerful enough to shape the state of the game, to the point that many builds have their playstyle tailored to fit the arboreal environment. But as powerful as trees are, they could use our help respawning. That's why Team Trees, the movement started by Mr. Beast and Mark Rober, and the largest collaboration of all time, has only one goal, to get people to plant trees. For That's every cool. dollar donated to the Arbor Day Foundation, link in the description, one tree will spawn in the game world. All of this video's ad revenue will go towards this initiative. Hey, so hey, just cool by watching, you've planted about one five hundredth of a tree. But if you'd like to support Team Trees directly, head on over to teamtrees.org to plant some trees. Hey, I would do that the same shit with my ad revenue, but um, unfortunately that's probably like what, like uh, a third of a tree, maybe a twenty, a fourth of a tree. <laughs> and that was the tree tier list by tiers. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, everybody. We learn a lot about fucking trees. Trees, everybody. The fucking trees.